is your first time in a fun in the sun. Are you enjoying it so far? I am. This is fun. I've never been to San Diego before, so. My youngest fan. <laughs> nice you to meet you. Television. Millions of people. Millions, Millions of people. Of people. Yeah. yeah. Stick around and watch One Life to Live. I don't know. No. No, I'm sorry. That's... That's not true. Chris, don't. Don't. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Not that I don't want to kiss you. It's just... I want to be with you. And not just as a friend. What are you, are you talking about, like, dating? Well, that's what people who feel this way about each other generally do, yeah. Yeah, uh, normal people, but I'm not normal now. I'm... So what? Chris, maybe you can just brush that aside. But you don't know what it's like. Okay, I could completely lost my bearings. I don't even know what I look like right now. And... In case you haven't noticed, I'm not good at relationships under the best of circumstances. Well, that makes two of us. Doesn't mean it's not worth trying. I don't. I don't want to be a burden. What? I need help doing everything, and I hate it. Look, I have to rely on Layla for everything, and she has her own life. You know, she was gonna get her own place before this happened to me. Okay, so uh, it's not a problem, my love. I'll move in. With you. I warned you, Brennan. You destroyed my daughter's happiness, and now I'm going to destroy yours. If you don't want your girls to pay for what you did, you'll leave them. You have until morning to disappear. Nash? Hey. Is she awake? No. It's like watching you sleep. You okay? Yeah. I just, uh, was having a hard time sleeping. Don't lie to me, Nash. You've been upset all night. And I know why. You read my mind. You earned it. <sighs> you hungry? I could, uh, I could order some. Anything but Thai. Actually, I'm not really even that hungry. Let me know. You know, we, uh, we did good work. You know, we tracked down David, got Margaret as a bonus. Maybe save Manning in the process. All a day's work, right? <laughs> More like a week. Hmm. You know, I gotta admit, I usually like to fly solo. Yeah. The whole Lone Ranger thing. I know, it's okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe there's another way. Mom, I'll be right back. Thank you for saving my father's life. Well, you're welcome, Star. Thank you for thanking me. That means a lot to me, especially coming from you. Just to let you know, when my dad gets better, we'll all be a family again. So my mom won't be needing you for much longer.
I, uh, I, I was wondering if Tommy's foster parents came to pick him up yet. They never show. Do you believe that? Are you kidding? Well, so what's going to happen to him now? Well, it's too late to do anything tonight. I'll try to place him with someone else tomorrow. But if I can't, he's looking at a state facility. You mean an orphanage? <laughs> They're much nicer than they sound. Well, I really hope you find somebody for him before then, and not just anybody. You know, somebody who's really, really nice. He deserves somebody special. He got to you, huh? Yeah. Marcy, have you and Michael ever thought about being foster parents? Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves right now, okay? I mean, we really need to concentrate on your father's recovery more than anything else. Okay? What are you doing here? I came to see you. Really? Yeah. I heard about your dad. I need a soda. Can you hear me, Todd? It's me. The kids miss you. They miss you so much. We all do. We need you to wake up, though. I need you to wake up so I can tell you I'm sorry. But I'm so sorry. Here's to winning. Winning's when Truman's in a jail cell next to his brother rotting. Which will happen as soon as we can get Margaret to remember what Spencer did to her and... Oh, okay, okay, slow down. I appreciate your enthusiasm. But just... I don't want to do any more on this tonight. Bo's on the case and he's had a lot more than an hour's sleep in the last two days. Aw. It's a matter of a little monsoon get the best of you. Yeah, yeah. All right, tough guy. If you got the juice to go all night, you, uh, you know where you can find me. <laughs> right. Like, you don't have Davis at the night desk ready to call you as soon as something else breaks. Davis is off. Ray is discovering for him. Yeah? See, I knew it. Yeah? I know something about you, too. What? I know that you were at the hospital and you didn't get that bandage changed and you were supposed to. Uh, Todd was dead and they were trying to revive him. I didn't think it was time to ask for a band-aid. Bottom line, you're supposed to get that bandage changed and you didn't. Hey, look, I can hook you up. Oh? Hmm. Don't move. Uh, John, John, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can't get to it with my pants on anyway. I'll put something else on. You want to move in with me? We haven't even been out on a date. Well, well I don't mean moving in as in moving in all my stuff. You, no, no, no. What you mean is worse. You want to move in here to, like, be a nurse. No, no, that's not what I said. But that would be the reality. I'm talking about helping you get adjusted to things, Evangeline. What's your problem now? Chris, I just admitted that there's more going on here than just friendship. But there's a huge difference between that and moving in together. You don't have to be able to see to know that. You blow me off? No. No. I'm curious, actually. I, I would like to, um, explore us, but moving in here, that's, that's complicated. Now, I need to take it slow. What? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm thinking. Can you think louder, please? I can't see. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I get what you're saying. But I still want to help. Chris, I need to figure out how to do this, you know, to be blind. There's so many things I don't know, things that other people take for granted. I know you want to help me, but you can't teach me that. Okay. Okay what? 
Well, I guess we'll need to get started on plan B. You worried about the paternity test? Oh, that's it. You hit the nail on the head there, girl. Well, it's a lock, babe, okay? We are this kid's parents. Come, get her. Is there any doubt? Mm, I don't know. Well, I do know. And as soon as we get the results for this test, everybody else will too. Antonio, Vicky, Clint, a whole lot of them. And they'll have to leave us alone. And we'll be free. This test is going to set us free. And then we can go back to nap or we can go wherever we want to go. Somewhere where no one will find us. You think there really is a place like that out there? Well, your daughter sure does think so. I'm going to get her bottle. Here. Yeah. Did you get my message? Yeah, I got your message. How the hell did you get in here? Are your bags packed? I'm not leaving. I can't just leave. You can if you know what's good for you. Or your daughter. Foster parents? Us? Yeah, I mean, Michael and I want to have a family soon, but, you know, Janice, this is, um... Well, it's... You're newlyweds. Well, you need time to get used to that. It's just that I see how good you are with Tommy and the way he responds to you. Do you really think that he responds to me? <laughs> You're a natural. <laughs> when the time's right, you'll make a wonderful mother. Janice, Janice, see, I was wondering, you know, since uh, Tommy's still here, uh, maybe I could go and spend some time with him, you know, hold him so he's not so lonely. Well, that's always good for a newborn. I'm sure he won't complain. Well, if he does, I'll, uh, I'll just give him a bottle, right? Mm, that'll show it. <laughs> <laughs> I should be safe here. The last thing I need is for my mom to be mad at me tonight. Oh, you mean because I'm a bad influence, right? Oh, because we got busted together, so now she thinks that you're a bad kid, but you're not. She's wrong. She's been wrong a lot lately. Anyway, what are you doing here? Well, I was freaking out when I saw you in the news. That was really dead, huh? Yeah. I guess so. And how's he doing now? It's okay. Just waiting. So everything's okay now, right? I'll feel better when he wakes up. You know, my mom's been sitting by my dad's side ever since. Just the other day, she was hoping that he'd be dead. Man, if I were you, would be mental. You're a lot tougher than you look. Day. I had to say goodbye to my dad. Because I... Because I thought that... Son of a... What the hell's the matter with you? Heard you did time in Morocco. Gonna be wishing you were back there. Cop killer is the lowest of the low in prison. You heard about McBain's psych suspension? Excessive violence. That blew away some thug. You're better off uh, locked up in here. I'll make a phone call. Dr. Spencer Truman, I just had a really interesting conversation with your brother earlier. I'm sure you did, Dorian. He's got quite an imagination. I thought you'd be immune to his lies by now. I know when David's lying, this time he's telling the truth. Really? What did he say exactly? If I tell you, I'll lose the advantage. You don't have the advantage, Dorian. David may be afraid of you, but I'm not. Okay, I'm game. Tell me about this plan B thing. 
Well, it was actually plan A, but I got a little sidetracked with the whole moving in thing. Mm -hmm. Almost got in over your head there, didn't you? Oh, you calling my bluff? <laughs> so, what are you talking about? Well, I found this center for the visually impaired. They're sending someone over tomorrow to show you how to manage things. Visually impaired? They can't just say blind. What, are they going to hurt my feelings or something? They've got all kinds of gadgets and things to help you out. They come over, check things out, rearrange your cabinets so you know where everything is, because we all know how important that is to you. What, are you making fun of the handicap now? You're enjoying this, aren't you? It's going to be a challenge. I live for challenges. What is it? Chris, you're not talking. Say something. I'm just wondering if you're ready. Ready for what? Well, you worked night and day to save Todd. Now that's over and you're determined to become the poster child for blind women. What's wrong with that? Nothing. There's nothing wrong with that, but... You haven't taken the time to feel sad, angry. Hell, if I lost my eyesight, I'd be damn pissed off. And if you don't take the time to, to feel that hurt, Evangeline... I don't do hurt well, Chris. Maybe because you've never had someone there to catch you when you fall. Did you find what you were looking for in Thailand, John? I found my father's killer, if that's what you mean. Actually, I think, I mean... Has anything changed? I mean, can you finally let yourself be happy? Happiness? What's that? Does that hurt? I'm gonna have to tell Michael that he's not the only one babe with bedside manner. Stop talking. You're messing with my work. <laughs> You know, this is playing nice with others. I should call Crosby and tell him to put this in your jacket. You know, you've been spending too much time with that guy. Using all this, uh, shrink talk. When looking for a murderer, that's what I found. Yeah, but that murder, well, your dad's murder, it was a huge burden. I mean, it's gone now. So, has anything changed? I don't know. I... All I know is I don't want to think about it anymore tonight. What do you want? David may have said to you, you got nothing on me, Dorian. I'm not a careless man, and I do not leave loose ends. Then you have nothing to worry about, do you? Oh, Blair. <laughs> you got here just in the nick of time. Yeah? Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Wait till you see my new toy. Someday I'll even learn how to really use it. <laughs> Hello? Yes, uh, pardon me just a moment. Hello? Oh, yes, yes. Of course, I'll be right there. Sorry, sorry about this. Um, I've got to leave. And uh, I'm not through with you yet. Well, she hates you. She hates everybody, Blair. Unfortunately, David recruited her a long time ago. Fortunately, you do not buy into her conspiracy theories. Hey, how are you holding up? Just keep thinking about Todd, what he's going to be like when he wakes up. Is he going to remember? He was dead. Does he remember them? Margaret's still alive and he's going to be the same man that he was? I don't know. No one's ever been through anything like this before. 
of something else. What? Why do you think John and Evangeline are so convinced that you set up Todd and faked Margaret's murder? I mean, do you want Todd dead? Hi, I'm Melissa Gallo from One Life to Live. Couple of months, these two have just been a hot, hot, hot item. Do you want to try to hold up? I can't. My hula hoop got stuck. <laughs> I already tried. I'm having so much fun. You guys are awesome, and San Diego is beautiful. Stick around and watch One Life to Live. If you tell anybody about this, I swear I'll kill you. So your dad beats a murder rap, and you threaten to ice me. That's messed up. <laughs> no, what's more messed up is that you make the same type of jokes as me. <laughs> so we're both twisted. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, well, as long as we don't get put in jail for it. I'm not really nice being real with someone. So where's that soda you were talking about? Um, there's a soda machine in the hallway. Oh, it's on me. No, 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 I got it, really. Right here. Damn, you just jacked these two sodas. Yeah, well, I saw an intern do it earlier. It's really easy, you just bang it in the right place and it comes straight out. And your mom's worried about me getting you in trouble? <laughs> I better actually be going. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah. You are definitely mommy material. <laughs> Do you think so? What are you doing? What are you doing there? Huh? What are you doing? Hey there. Hi. Is that? Yes, it is. It's Tommy. You know, his foster parents never came to pick them up. Uh, speaking of which, I need to drop off this paperwork. Are you okay with Tommy? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Thanks. Hey, look at that sweet face. Look at that bite nose. I'm going to eat your nose. It's so cute. I think he's looking at you. Yes. I think he is. Hey, you looking at me? Huh? <laughs> you looking at me? You must be looking at me because I don't see anybody else standing here. <laughs> Look at that smile. Isn't it the best? It's the best. Yeah, yeah it definitely is. I was talking about him, not I know, you. I know, I know. Well, he's got some grip. He does. So, these uh, foster people, they just took off on him? I guess so. <laughs> you want to hear something funny? Janice wanted to know if we would be foster parents. <laughs> I mean, isn't that crazy? I think it's time you started listening to me, Mr. Ress, and you're not going to lay a finger on my baby girl or Tess. Now that's up to you. I paid for what I did to Claudia. No, you haven't paid to my satisfaction. But forcing you to leave your family that you love just might settle the debt. You have till morning, Brennan. I love you so much. How could I possibly leave you, huh? I want you to be my baby so bad I can't breathe. Hey, maybe if you were Antonio's, you'd... At least then you'd be safe. Here you go, sweetie. Something I need to tell you. Well, I can't blame you for asking. I mean, that's, that's what people are saying. That's not an answer. Well, I don't know anything about Margaret, her faking her death, or what she did with that baby. The best I can hope for is, well, like with Todd, that the truth will win out. What are you talking about? Todd didn't win anything. He went to his death. And if you hadn't... If you hadn't been there, then... 
Listen, if I'd wanted him out of the way, why wouldn't I have just let nature take its course? Where he was pumped full of poison. I didn't have to save him, but I did. Shouldn't that tell you something? Listen, Claire, I... Why do you keep pulling away from me? Just, uh, what, are you afraid of me? No, no, I'm not. There's a lot's happened, Spencer. I kept telling me he was innocent. And I turned my back on him when he needed to be the most, and he went to his death hating me. But we've always been able to forgive each other in the past. So what if he forgives you this time? Where does that leave us? Look, Spencer, this isn't the place or the time to talk about us. More about Todd and me. All I know is right now Todd is alive, and I told you that I would do anything if you saved him, and I owe you, and I will do everything that I can to repay you for that, I promise Listen, you that. you don't have to go Yes, I do. Way. I said that I would do it, and I don't know how I'm going to pay you back, but I promise you that I will. When's the last time you slept? No, I don't know. I, 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 I don't even know home? what I'm saying. I, no, I, I can't. I just... I want to be here. When Todd wakes up, I want to be here and tell him I was wrong. My dad's getting better. Isn't that the best news? I should have never lost faith in you. Will you ever forgive me? David, I love you. I left messages with several lawyers. Nobody got back to me. I'm not going to be able to find you one if you keep having me summoned here. You have to help me bust out of here. Tess, I love you. Yeah, I love Shh. you too. What happened? What I was... Shush. Please, just... You've changed me. I never realized how much I hated the man I used to be. You've made me a better person. You've made me realize what's important in life, and most of that happened while watching you fight for your own life. You've become your own woman. I saw Jessica pounding at the door. No. You're stronger now. You can do this on your own, and no matter what happens, no matter what happens, Tess, you can still have everything. Okay, you're scaring me, Nash. Why are you saying this? Listen, if you're worried about Jessica taking over, if the paternity no, tests don't go our way to no, more than... No, I just need you to know how much I love you and Brennan. How much you two mean to me. And no matter what happens, I just need you to remember that. Remember that. When I think about what's happened to me, I mean, when I really think about it, it scares the hell out of me. It scares me when you act like this is no big thing. I, mean, I never realized how much I counted on my sight, you know, for reading people. You're going to figure out another way. It's going to take time, but it's you'll not, get it. It's not just that. It's like I lost everything. Like what? Like Nora. You know, we used to meet in the park for lunch, and we used to shop and, and go check out the new spring collection and see all the colors. There are so many things like that that I'm really going to miss, you know, and people. And... I can't see her face. You know what I look like? It's not the same. I'm right here. Look at me.
I hate to break this up, but it's bedtime. Okay, come on. Let me get your bottle. Oh. Hey, Janice, um, do you think, you know, since that other couple bailed, um, well, I, was, I was wondering, what, what would Marcy and I have to do to uh, look after little Tommy here for a while? You were right. I keep things inside. Pretend they're not there. But it actually hurts less admitting it. But it still hurts. But I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Learning how to see without my eyes. Everything is going to be different. Doesn't have to be. Some things can be the same. What do you mean? What are you doing? What happens? What? Answer that. You don't want to wake Yes, hello. We'll be there. That was the, um. It's the hospital. The lab's gonna have the results of the paternity test first thing in the morning. You want me to what? Shh. Keep it down. I don't want our friend over there hearing us talk about getting me out of here. David, we are not talking about that. You are the one who is talking about it. I agreed to help you find a lawyer, and I cannot think of a single reason why I should help you any further. I can think of a million reasons, each one of them with George Washington's face on it. What are you saying? I'll give you a million dollars if you help me escape. I'm going to take Star home now, okay? Jack is with Vicky. Vicky's going to stay at the penthouse with the kids, so... We'll be right back. When will I wake up? Soon.
Now that you know I was right about Todd, aren't you going to cut me some slack? There's something else I need to do. <laughs> See my dad. He could destroy Blair's life unless something is done. Oh, God, he's awake. 